Okay, let's describe now the veins of uh, draining the upper limb. So, in here we have, just as points of reference, the clavicles, here is the sternum, um, like about here, this is the heart, which means that the ribs are so, so like this, right? So, so. Now, we're going to describe two sets of veins. Remember, a uh, superficial and a deep group of veins draining the upper limb. So the deep veins receive almost and have this, almost the same organization or pattern as the arteries. So let's describe them first. These are deep. So we have, and we're gonna start, I'm sorry, from distal toward the heart, right? That's the direction of the blood flow. So we have two palmar arches, arches, the deep and the superficial, and they're going to collect blood to the radial on the lateral side and to the ulnar vein on the ulnar or medial side. These two veins merge together and form a larger vein, which is, what do you think? The brachial vein. The brachial vein at the level of the axilla becomes, or now is called, the same vein, the axillary vein. And this axillary vein, when it passes about, well, my ribs are not that good, but about the first uh, rib, remember the lateral border of the first rib, which will be like this. Let me put it really fast to make that point. Ah, this is the first rib. Okay, so when it passes there, it becomes blue, 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 blue. The axillary vein becomes the subclavian vein. Okay, now that's the deep. In blue, we have the deep veins. Let's describe in something very different. In green, let's describe the superficial veins. In the superficial veins, we have a different network of veins in here that we're not going to get into details. And again, it's collecting blood from your hand and deoxygenated blood from your hand and digital and digits. Now, this vein has, or L, this network empty this deoxygenated blood into a different vein. This one on the medial side is called the basilic, basilic vein, okay? And this one on the lateral side is called, uh, like about here, is called the cephalic vein. And there's another one, a third one, that connects the cephalic and the basilic right here in the uh, antecubital fossa, and that is called the antecubital vein. Antecubital vein, well, actually, median antecubital vein. Uh, and that's the vein that we use to draw blood uh, when you're having your lab work done. Okay, so in blue, deep uh, veins of the upper limb, so we have from both uh, palmar archers, the deep and the superficial, the radio and the ulnar, radio and ulnar meet together, fuse together, and form the brachial. Now I'm going to, with magenta, show you where are the places where the deep and the superficial set of veins connect, because they connect, okay? So the brachial vein, as you can see, merge with the basilic vein, B and B, brachial and basilic, and form the axillary nerve, uh, vein, okay? And now, let's choose another color. What do you think? Um, red, but it's not arterial blood. The uh, cephalic vein that is coming on the lateral side fuses now with the axillary uh, vein, okay, cephalic and 
uh, cephalic and axillary and forms the subclavian vein. Now, the subclavian vein, I'm running out of colors in here, the subclavian vein, remember, that receives blood from the internal, well, from the external jugular vein, and the subclavian plus the internal jugular vein formed the right brachiocephalic trunk vein. On the left side, same thing is happening. The left subclavian vein receives blood from the internal jugular vein and forms the left brachiocephalic vein. Right and left brachiocephalic veins form the superior vena cava and the superior vena cava uh, empty, empties the blood into the right atrium. Okay? That is what we're going to see in here. And I brought back this image just to remind you that the deep veins, they have the same distribution as, as the arteries. Okay? So let's review these or identify these veins in here. Again, we start from distal to proximal. So in here we can see this is the superficial and this is the deep uh, palmar venous arch. Let's follow first, I think the lighter, yes, this one, the lighter uh, veins are the deep veins. So in here we have the radial and the ulnar. Can you follow them? This is the ulnar here and this is the radial in here. Okay, this is the direction of the blood flow. They merge together and form the brachial. Look at the brachial, how it receives blood or merge together with the basilic. There is a superficial vein located on the medial side of your arm, upper limb. Now, these, uh, the brachial vein plus the basilic vein, they form the axillary vein. B plus B is A. So they're cool. Brachial plus basilic equals axillary. Now, the axillary vein receives blood from these lateral huge veins, vein, which is the cephalic vein. Okay? So cephalic plus axillary form the subclavian vein. Here is the cephalic, here is the axillary, form the subclavian vein. The subclavian vein, remember that it receives blood from the external jugular vein. Okay, here we have again the, exter the subclavian vein plus the internal jugular vein. Subclavian plus internal jugular vein forms the uh, brachiocephalic vein. Okay, and the right and left brachiocephalic vein forms, let's put the two brachiocephalic veins form the superior vena cava that opens into the right atrium. Okay, this is the superior vena cava. So I hope this helps to understand all of this mess. In the next video, and last on this chapter, the veins of the inferior of the lower limbs. See you.